So we got to the point where we decided to have our global, va a global list with five items to be converted into another list, which also has five items, but the first element is capitalized. So in order to do that, it seems like for each element inside this list, I have to go ahead and take off that first element. Actually, let's see if I can use my pen. Apparently not. All right, let's create a piece. No, let's do it this way. Slideshow play from current slide. Okay, and let's create a note. Uh -huh. Pen. There we go. Now, if you notice, I have the word Anna Marina. What I'm curious about is how I can get the word A. Oh, that is very unprofessional. But, anyways, so I have the word. Anna Marina. I want to extract the A, make it capitalize, and then add the N next to it, then add the A, and then add the space, and then add the M, A, I, R, Marine, N, A. Okay? So basically, First, for each item, which are one, two, three, four, five items in this list, I go ahead, I extract the first element, which is the A, I capitalize it, all right? So I replace the A with a capital A, then I join it, join it with the second element, okay? So if this thing becomes one thing together, and then I join this previous thing with the third element, and then I go ahead and join this bigger thing with the fourth element and so on until I will cover the whole name. And then that's the time I will go ahead and write this over here. Okay, so for example, for the Sarah, the same situation. I'm going to get the S, small s, and I'm going to replace it with a capital S. So it becomes a capital S. Then I'm going to join it with the A and then it will become SA, then I'm going to join the SA to R, then it becomes SAR, and then I'm going to join this SAR to A, then it becomes Sarah, and then at the end I'm going to join this Sarah to H, and it becomes Sarah. Okay, and then I'm going to just overwrite it here. Now, let's walk through this into that code. So it seems like I have a for loop for each item in the global uh, uh, list. So each item is basically Anna Marina, Sarah, Anna, this, that. These are each called an item. Okay? So for each item inside the global list, go ahead and do a bunch of things. Alright, what kind of bunch of things do I have to do? First, let's go ahead and extract the first letter of your item. So my item is Anna Marina, extract the first item of it, first sorry, first letter of it, and that will give me the small a, alright? So I'm going to extract the small a, I will call it sum, and then I'm going to check whether that sum is equal to a. Well, here I wrote it like the, the first letter of sum, obviously the sum itself has only one letter in it. So if I replace this part of the code with the sum itself, it's going to be fine, so no problem. So either the first letter of sum or the sum itself, because sum has a length of one, it's only one element, you will check if it's small a. And if it was, which in this scenario, the first element is a small a, then you go ahead and make it capitalized, like a, all right? So then, once you're done with capitalization, so you got the first capital A, you go ahead and for the rest of the items, for the le sorry, rest of the letters in your item, you are going to join the previous with the rest. What does that work? 
So you have a for loop that starts from 2 to all the way to the end of your item size. So in the Anna Marina is 1, 2, you um, include the spaces so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So from 2 to 9, okay, from 2 to 9, go ahead and join the sum, which is a capital A already, with letter 2 of item Anta Marina, basically. So go ahead and join the capital A with N and then write it into the sum. So your new sum becomes capital A and N. And then next time when you go to the for loop, your I becomes 3. So this previous time was I was 2. Now the next time you go in, I becomes 3. And then your sum is your previous sum, which is the capital A and N. And you go ahead and join it with the letter 3. And the letter 3 is A again. So you're going to have A, N, A. Alright, and this is going to be your new sum value. And then you're going to again go ahead and increment your I. So your I now becomes 4. And this time you're going to sum, you're going to join the sum, which is A and A, with the fourth letter. And the fourth letter in this case is a space. So you're going to have I equals to 4. And then you have A and A with a capital, with a space. I'm just going to draw a space as a empty line here, just for us to make sure that we don't get confused. But in fact, there's nothing over here. Alright, and then you go ahead and I becomes 5. So, when I becomes 5, you're going to join this Anna with a space with M. So, you're going to get Anna. Oh my god, the handwriting is excellent. M. Actually, your M is small. And this is your new sum. and so on until you add all of the letters of Anna Marina and once that is over you're gonna say the sum which is the whole Anna Marina with a capital and you're gonna replace the item of incrementer of global list with the sum so you have so basically increment is another variable which basically keep track of the elements in your global list. So you know that your incrementer is a right now 1 because you're dealing with the first element. So you can replace the item of item of uh, let's say 1 of your global list with the word sum which is the new sum and then that's it then all you have to do is to now move on to your second element and in, the, in this case you're gonna change the incrementer by one so you move on to the second element and then the, then you will go back to your for loop so this process repeats again actually I think this code can be rewritten one more time I think even for this situation of replace item incrementer, you don't even you need to use the incrementer. I think instead you can use replace the item item because for each item in global, uh, no, actually, no, 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 that's correct. So you will replace the item number one of global list with the sum. So this is the keeping keeping track of the indices of your global list. But the item itself is an actual content. So the item is the actual content of Anna Marina, Sarah, Anna. But the incrementer is basically says that this is global list value number one. This is global list value number two, three, four, five. That's why you have to replace item one of your global list with the new sum which contains the capital A. Right? And then you will move on to the second element. And this for loop 
continues. Alright, I think you guys got the idea. And obviously, if you run this particular code, because we're only checking for the capitalization of the small a to big A, that's why every sent every element that every item inside this global list that contain that starts with a capital A is go sorry, it starts with A is going to be capitalized. And the rest of elements won't because we don't have any condition to check for them. Apparently, if I were to implement this code completely, I had to have these if statements 28 times because of 28 alphabetic um, alphabets that we have. So for each alphabet, I had to say, oh, if the sum, the first letter of sum, or basically the sum itself is equal to A, or B, or C, or D, and so on, then capitalize it. Okay. This was tedious, obviously no one wants to use it. How do we implement it in an easier way? Well, this is when the Unicode comes to play. So Unicode uh, is a code, it's an integer value associated with all these symbols that we have. So for example, A has a Unicode of 41. Ah, hold on. Okay, let me end this now and we're gonna record a different video for the other one.